Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing my top 12 summer favourite products. Products that work well in hot, humid weather like we're having here at the moment. Products that hold up and just work really nicely. The type of shades and tones that I'm attracted to in these warmer summer months. So if that sounds interesting to you, then keep watching. Okay, so I was going to include 10. I usually do 10 with these kind of seasonal recommendations videos, but I wanted to include a fragrance and then I just couldn't, I couldn't make it 10 and it couldn't possibly leave it at 11, of course. But these are very much like my kind of makeup, my beauty favorites. I am going to be doing a second part of this kind of video theme where I'm going to be sharing like items, products, fashion, accessories, those sorts of things, other summer essentials, but this is kind of my beauty version of this video. I wanted to include one fragrance to rule them all and I've gone with Blanche Bet. This is by Liquides Imaginaires and what was my first fragrance from the house and it is a hit. This is the perfect summer fragrance. It has a very tropical coconutty holiday vibe and it has really nice longevity but it stays fresh and light regardless of how hot the weather gets. I can soak myself in this, so I really have a beautiful little bubble of fragrance close around me. It's not a hugely projecting fragrance. It kind of stays in a little bit of a bubble. You know, if you get close to me, if you give me a hug, you're gonna get a waft of it. If you're sitting next to me, you're going to get a waft of it, but it's not overwhelming. I feel like it's dangerous to wear hugely projecting scents in summer when it's hot, because as your skin heats up, it's going to be very overwhelming for everybody within a 10 mile radius of you. So yes, I think it's, it's safer and kinder to others to go a bit lighter and fresher in the summer and just something that's not going to be too cloying and not too hard to breathe because we, we like to breathe. You know, most people enjoy that. But this is so beautiful and it's quite sexy as well. It's got, you know, that sort of lactonic vibe that makes it a little creamy and it just smells very, very cozy and comforting, but in a very fresh, summer friendly way. And I feel like I can, you know, soak myself in this as I'm going out the door and it's still not going to like overwhelm anybody or be too much or be too overpowering for anybody else who comes into my vicinity. It stays light, fresh, tropical, coconutty throughout, but in a nice, light, summery way. It's absolutely perfect for summer. You can't go wrong. The longevity is great, but it's not super potent as far as like the sillage and the projection. It's just a gorgeous, perfect summer scent. And this bottle, I mean, it's stunning like a deadly weapon in, in, in one, two in one, two for the price of one. Deadly weapon, beautiful bottle. You know, what more could you wish for? So I spoke about this in my travel kit. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer. This has SPF 50 in it. Obviously I wouldn't recommend that you solely rely on the SPF in here. Of course, we always go SPF on the face. I will be covering my favorite SPF in the other part in the second part of this video series, mini series. But this is the perfect primer for traveling with. In the summer months, it's really nice, light, hydrating and refreshing. On the skin, it's, it's very much a multitasking product, like I said in my travel video. It gives you some moisturization, it gives you a good amount of SPF and a really nice glowy base for makeup. It's also a really nice product alone. You know, it's called a primer, but it doesn't have to just be used as a primer for makeup. This on the skin gives you a gorgeous glow and it looks very fresh and it hydrates your skin. It makes you look rested and youthful and like you've got some glorious lit from within skin. So the difference there in those two hands. I also find it really neutralizes a little bit of redness and discoloration. So, you know, if you want to go makeup free and you want something that's got a bit of SPF that you can top up, that's going to give you a little bit of a filtered effect to the skin. This is absolutely great. I always travel with this whenever I go on holiday because one, it's a really nice travel friendly packaging and two, it's just such a good, you know, you don't need to take three products. You don't need to take, you know, a primer and a 
glowy product you don't need to take you know a sheer sort of skin tint type of product you can use just this and it's going to kind of do multiple jobs at once and I absolutely love it in the summer it's so nice on the skin now probably the most questions that I've had when it comes to like summer makeup is about foundation and this from Lisa Eldridge Lisa Eldridge's seamless skin foundation is my number one recommendation if you're looking for a foundation that's not a skin tint it's a full-on real deal foundation but you want something that's going to wear well in hot humid weather this is the best that I've ever found it's very very flexible as to the amount of coverage like the other day I was wanting to do like 10 second makeup I can't remember where I was going but I just literally wanted to do a tiny touch of something and I had like five minutes and I literally just buffed the thinnest layer of this all over the skin and it just evened everything out and looks super beautiful but like today I've really worn this as like a sort of medium to full coverage foundation it's very versatile so you can you know use as much or as little get as much or as little coverage as you like but it still always stays very natural and skin like as far as the finish on the skin very flattering on texture lines etc beautiful natural quality to it no SPF so it's not going to give you flashback if you're going to something like a wedding where you want your foundation to wear very well all day it might be hot outside but then you know you're parting into the evening when there's going to be flash photography this is a great choice because it wears so well but it is very natural no SPF and it's absolutely beautiful on the skin like I said it feels light as well which I think is important in the summer so that is my number one recommendation recommendation for a proper foundation in hot humid weather in summer months something that you want to wear really well I wore this actually to a food festival that I went to yesterday and we were there you know all day it was hot and humid and muggy but then it rained because it was thundery and stormy so it was very hot but not sunny and it was humid and then we had rain and I was out all day and we were you know running about with the kids eating drinking watching lots of bands and doing things like rides and this was the foundation I wore it looked immaculate at the end of the day she's a winner but for a lot of people in the summer myself included I don't usually want to wear a full face of foundation when it's really hot if I'm going to be outside if I'm going to be on the go all day without air conditioning if I'm going to be outside we're going to picnic something like a festival I don't typically choose to wear found like a full-on foundation I'll usually go for something like a skin tint something a bit light something that's just a bit color corrective and my absolute favorite that I've ever found is the Chanel Le Beige water fresh tint make sure it's the larger bottle not the little diddlier one because I don't like that one as much this one is just perfect and it's so sheer that you don't have to worry so much about the color you know I can use this in winter and summer despite my skin tone changing so much as it does because there's just not that much color to it this is the shade medium and like I said I can get away with this all year round it's very very sheer it just evens everything out but gives you this gorgeous glowy fresh juicy skin without there being like coverage really so because of that you know you don't have to worry about how it's wearing because it's really barely noticeable you know if it's starting to fade if it's starting to wear off as you go throughout the day you really aren't going to get such a noticeable amount of fading because it's just such a light fresh like skin perfecter essentially this is so nice and light on the skin it feels like you're wearing nothing very hydrating and it does wear decently like it'll wear really nicely for like six seven hours and you really won't notice it fading because it's so soft and subtle but it just gives your skin this like beautiful perfecting quality luminosity life little bit of evening out of the skin tone little bit of evening up between like face neck body etc without having to do like a full face of makeup without having to worry so much about what it looks like if it's melting off your face absolute go to again a bit of a multitasker five minute makeup no makeup makeup love it so eyeshadow now I'm not someone who will tell you these are the colors you have to wear in summer do whatever you want but there's one eyeshadow palette when I was looking through and thinking you know perfect summer products this one super stands out to me as soon as I opened it I was like if that is not summer in an eyeshadow palette I don't know what is it's Pat McGrath's Divine Rose 2 I mean hello do you see what I'm saying it's literally like 
a bouquet of flowers in an ice chalet palette, isn't it? Is it just me that, that thinks that? This literally screams summer to me. Today I used the sort of peachy matte and then this shimmer on the lid, I patted a little bit of the sort of like topper shade all over the lid and then I used this like gold on the inner part of my lid. Oh, I just felt like a summer's dream. To be honest, that's how I felt. I think this is so summery, the color story in here, and you can really do as much or as little as you want. There's a few options as far as color story. You can go, you know, more fuchsia, you can stay more mauvey, and there's peachy options as well as the gold. So it's quite versatile, but I, it literally just screams summer to me, as does the packaging. I'm just obsessed with it. I absolutely love this. It was my favorite Pat McGrath mothership for a long time. And she's kind of been gazumped a little bit by mothership 10, but I feel like this one is just, it's the best mothership for summer. It's just, it's summer in a palette. I <laughs> I'll fight anyone who says different. Meet me outside. You'll have to wait because I'm filming still, so see you later. Now another product that I mentioned in my travel kit, my holiday makeup bag kit, was the Charlotte Tilbury Sunset Pink Gasm Sunset, I'm so sorry, Pink Gasm Sunset Beauty Light Wand. This is her latest shade of these beauty light wands and it is my favourite ever. I mean come off of it, come right off of it. It's stunning. It's stunning. I like a multitasking product in the summer. I've noticed that about myself. Usually I don't like a multitasker, but where I kind of allow them is when they're like blush and highlight in one, like this one. This, you know, you don't need highlighter. You just need blush and it's the glowiest goddessy Charlotte Tilbury cheek of all time. It's such a perfect color. It's very versatile. You can build it up or, you know, blend it out as much, use as much or as little as you want, get the effect that you like. It's the juiciest, freshiest, summeriest cheek known to man and lady. And I can't get enough of it. I love these beauty light ones, but this is my favorite by far. Cuts down on the amount of makeup that you have to take with you if you're traveling, but get that on your cheeks and tell me it doesn't look glorious. You can't, you can't do it. Another blush product that again, much like the Beauty Light wand, could be a multitasker because it's so gorgeously glowy, but it is in fact a powder. So, you know, if you're not a cream girl like myself, typically, although I make exceptions, this blush from NARS, I mean, one, look at her. She's very obviously a perfect summer glowy goddess cheek, isn't she? This is Taj Mahal. Did I tell you that? Taj Mahal, stunning. It looks very orange and it is, I won't lie to you, but it's also got this gold running through it. And on the cheeks, this somehow becomes like bronzy somehow. Really bronzy goddess makeup, this blush. It's absolutely perfect. Very glowy as you can see. So again, you could skip highlighter and just go for this gorgeous, orangey, sun-kissed, sunset, sunrise, beachy, all in one on your cheek. I mean, who doesn't want that, you know? Who doesn't want it? This looks especially stunning on tanned skin or deeper skin tones, but again, very versatile, use it with a light hand, stunning if you have a lighter, fairer complexion. <laughs> I just want to get it on my cheeks right now, but I can't. I'm filming and we must move on. Now, other cheek products. I'm a big fan of a blush palette, a face palette. As you, you guys know this, I don't know why I'm telling you. You already know. So there we are. The one that I used today, I used bronzer, blush, I can't open it. What's happening? I used the bronzer, blush and highlighter from the Tiger palette from Hourglass. Now I hesitated to include this because I'm not sure if you can get it anymore. And originally Hourglass was very sneaky with the wording when they released these. They said limited edition packaging. So that led me to believe that this was going to be like a permanent color story, but we were going to eventually go to like, you know, the, the plainer hourglass packaging and we were going to lose this glorious tiger print, but we have yet to see that happen. And they do keep restocking them on and off. So I'm including it. That's my disclaimer. I'm going with it. I'm going to include it because I feel in my bones that it's going to come back at some point, even if it is sold out as we speak. 
If Divine Rose 2 is summer in an eyeshadow palette, this has got to be summer in a cheek palette, hasn't it? Just look at it. Just look at those blushes. I've got, I basically mixed these two together today and I have no regrets. It's these gorgeous, peachy, glowy, orangey tones. I'm, the glow of it all, it just, it gets me, you know? On my skin tone, this is a bronzer. This is the bronzer I use today. Again, I love the tone of this bronzer year round, but in summer, that extra luminosity and life to the skin, I live for it. If you have a deeper complexion, this is actually a finishing powder. So it's a, a versatile little palette, depending on your skin tone. But these blushes are so summery and they've got that golden very bronzy effect to them that just make you feel sun kissed even though you might not be yet but it's coming i feel it in my bones and it's just a, a delight and a joy to use it's obviously very great to travel with although i would be afraid to travel with it in case it got destroyed especially as we don't know if it's coming back or not <laughs> heaven forbid it got broken but she's stunning and if like lots of you were saying oh you know put, I put my makeup in my hand luggage I don't do hand luggage at all can't do it don't like it I have a very small little crossbody bag with my passports and travel documents that no one else is allowed to even look at or even think about that they exist I am the only one in control of those okay just so you know so I don't have you know room for makeup in there so I I couldn't fly with this but if I'm going away for the weekend if I'm going somewhere and I can you know, put, pack my makeup in a bag that I myself am responsible for, I absolutely would take this because it's got everything you need. You can use it on cheeks and eyes and save yourself a lot of products that you need to take with you. It's glorious. But another little palette, if you can't get your hands on that one, that is equally glorious, is the Charlotte Tilbury Love Gavin palette. Again, you open her and you just see summer. It screams summer, sunset, glorious, gorgeous, glowy, luminous. This one I think is a little lighter overall as far as like the depth of the, sh uh, the shadows, the products. These are a little probably easier to use if you have a fairer skin tone. Tiger is probably better if you have a, a more tan to deep skin tone, but you know, used liberally or lightly, I think you can use either. Very glowy, goddess, gorgeous, gloriousness in a palette. Again, you could easily take this and use on eyes and cheeks. It's going to give you the most beautiful glowy goddess lit from within bronzy queen skin that you've ever dreamt of. Okay. And that's a guarantee, but obviously don't sue me. <laughs> you know, take that up with Charlotte Tilbury. The other Charlotte is responsible for any disappointment there. But I love this kind of product in summer where everything is just glowy to the goddess. I love glowy skin all year round but in summer I want to glow even more like more is more when it comes to glow in this house at least. Now another product that I like all year round but when it comes to summer it becomes like a necessity because my makeup wears like easily by itself all winter, autumn and most of spring if I'm being honest. When it comes to summer is when, you know, makeup, it's it's put through a lot, especially here in the UK. Humidity, ugh, heat, no air conditioning, unless you go into a, a shop or an office building, some have it. We don't have it in homes. So, you know, your day might be like applying makeup in a boiling hot room, like I'm sitting in right now, with a fan blowing on your face, and then you're hot, you're melting and then you might get in the car and blast the air conditioning and then get out and you're hot and you're melting, go into a shop. All of this is, it's a lot for makeup, you know, it's a lot for makeup to wear through this constant changing of temperature and environment and, you know, the, the beating down sun and the humidity. It's tough for makeup to put up with. So what I find in the summer makes such a big difference. I can't go without it. If I'm going out for like the festival like I did yesterday, you know, a picnic, a day out with the children where I know it's going to be hot weather. I'm using this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's the only setting spray I've ever found that actually really makes a difference to how my makeup wears. Like I said, I don't typically use it in the winter because I just find my makeup 
it can survive by itself. Unless I'm going for like a really long day, if I was going to a wedding, something like that, very long day, I'd go for it regardless, just to, just to you know, make sure, just in case. But in summer, every time that I'm going out for the day or whatever, this goes on my face as my final step because it really just helps my makeup hold it together, you know, throughout a warm, hot, humid day, long day, this is going to make a big difference to my makeup. I absolutely love it. Also, it doesn't hurt that it kind of gives you a bit of a cooling down, a bit of a soaking at the end of your makeup routine because by then we've almost sweated it all off because it's boiling in here, okay? I have my room that I film in and do my makeup in with blackout blinds because it interferes having light streaming in with my camera and lighting and everything. So everything is blackout blinds in here. I've essentially created an oven for myself and it's unpleasant. I won't lie to you. So this sort of thing that's gonna help my makeup hold up, stop it melting off my face, keep it wearing freshly and perfectly for longer, essential. Thank you so much, Charlotte Tilbury. There's a lot of Charlotte Tilbury in this video today, have you noticed? Obviously, she loves the summer makeup product. That, what can we tell you? Now, when it comes to lip products, my two favorite formulas, as you guys know, especially for summer because we're talking glowy, shiny lips that are comfortable and light. That's what I'm talking about anyway, I, I can't speak for you. But it's the Lisa Eldridge Luxuriously Lucent and the Dior Addict Shiny Lipsticks. These are my two favorite formulas, especially when it comes to a more glowy finish. My two absolute favorite shades for summer. <laughs> my two absolute favorite shades for summer are Rose Bobby which is a strange name. Does anyone know what that means? What, who is Bobby? Can you tell me? I don't know. But this is just like the perfect sort of corally pinky, shiny lipstick, <sighs> juicy, luscious, light and comfortable, can be, you know, worn more sheerly or built up to some really juicy color. And then the lipstick I have on today Possibly my absolute favorite in this formula is Atomic Cherry. Again, this formula from Lisa. It's just perfect for summer because it's very sheer initially, but you can build it up to more of a sort of medium opacity. They do all have more opaque, opaque color to them. They have a little bit more color. I think you can probably see there, they're a bit more opaque. The Lisa Eldridge are thinner, but not quite as shiny. That's the difference between these two formulas, which is why I think I the Dior edges it for me because I do like that extra shine that it gives me. But the Lisa is so comfortable and the colors are so pretty and stunning. And this one is my favorite in summer, I think. I say that, but it's like every time I wear one of these lipsticks, I'm like, that's my favorite. And then I wear a different one, that's my favorite. I love them all, what can I say? But this is an excellent choice for summer. Atomic Cherry, beautiful cherry kissed lip like you've just had a lolly and it's melted and slightly stained your lips that's what it's giving me anyone else no just me okay i'm sorry but there you have it those are my top 12 summer makeup favorites and fragrance don't forget one fragrance for the win <laughs> Please, as always, let me know what your favorite products are for these hot, humid, summer, pretty, beautiful, glorious, flowery months. What do you lean towards? What do you gravitate towards? What colors do you like to use? What products are your favorite in the summer months? Please let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget there is going to be a second part to this video where I'm gonna be sharing all of the kind of other stuff like non-makeup stuff we're going to have spf we're going to have accessories clothing all of the other good stuff to help you get through the warmer months so if you are interested in that that will be up any day any any moment now not any moment now any day in, in a couple of days but i hope you enjoyed this video and i would love to see you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.